Well, we were hoping to see a Braves legend as part of the newest class at the Baseball Hall of Fame. We were, but it didn't happen this year. But that doesn't mean that next year is out of the question. Our Maria Martin is joining us with insight on how the voting for the Baseball Hall of Fame works and which Braves players we should be watching in the future. Yeah, I know everyone was really disappointed when Andrew Jones did not get in mm -hmm. yesterday. But again, that does not mean that he couldn't get in in the future. It is very possible. And even though he fell short of the Hall in 2024, his vote total increases every single year ever since his initial time on the ballot back in 2018. He received 61.6% this year, and he needs at least 75% to be elected. I broke down the recent Hall of Fame selection with our Braves insider, Grant McCauley. Grant, unfortunately, no Braves were named into the Baseball Hall of Fame this year, specifically a lot of people wondering about Andrew Jones. He did rise in the percentage when it comes to the voting, and he is getting closer, but obviously could not make it in this year. What do you make of Andrew not making it in this year, and do you foresee him making it in either next year or in the near future? I don't think it's a total surprise that he didn't make it in this year because he had risen over the years since 2018, his first year on the ballot. He had picked up considerable steam, but then I think as you get a little bit closer, the climb gets a little bit steeper. But Andrew Jones, with his just immaculate defense and the home run numbers, I think is finally starting to gain appreciation. I don't know if 2025 will be his year, but he does have three more tries on the ballot. By the time he gets to that 10th and final time, which might make a few folks nervous, I think he should be punching his ticket to Cooperstown, but he has gained steam from 7% his first year on the ballot to over 60% this most recent time. Absolutely, and he has three more years on the ballot, so it is very likely that he will get a place in Cooperstown for sure. Any other Braves that we should keep our eye on in the next couple of years? Yeah, Billy Wagner goes into year 10 on the ballot, and I know he was what we would categorize as briefly a Brave, just his final year of his career, one of the most dominating closers of all time. And of course, Gary Sheffield just fell off the player ballot, his 10th and final try. And I'll always keep that flame lit, that candle burning in the window for <laughs> Dale Murphy to get that call to the hall, because I think that is long overdue. Of course, we're all cheering for Dale Murphy to hopefully eventually make it. And there are three players in the 2024 class, Adrian Beltre, Joe Maurer, and Todd Helton.